got you and me books in New York City. Owner Lucy Yu wants visitors not just to find a great story, but a sense of home. I want the vibes to be you're going to someone's living room and you're chilling on their floor, reading a book, sipping some coffee and talking to people. Are you excited to be in New York? For you, that sense of home also means seeing some of herself in the book she reads. How did not having that representation impact your upbringing? It was a huge impact. I always did find solace in books, but I was always trying to change myself and my story to try to find some common ground between me and the books that I was reading. You now gets to handpick every book she sells. That's the one? Focusing on immigrant stories and writers of color. I love that this story is all about that. Yes! You and Me Books actually opened during the pandemic, a difficult time for small businesses. But it was her own Chinatown community that made her vision a reality. I opened up the GoFundMe. I had no idea if anyone other than my boyfriend and my mother were going to donate, but I think a lot of people were really hungry for the space. You success is part of a larger boom in both numbers and diversity for independent bookstores. Out of the 335 new stores that opened up across the country since January 2020, 100 107 of those are owned by people of color, according to the American Booksellers Association. It's this renaissance of reading that we're seeing. It's very much related to the Great Resignation. We've also seen a disruption in the way people think about bookstores. Libros Book Mobile is another example of reshaping the mold of what a bookstore can be. They put their library on a school bus in Texas. Our whole idea was to be able to take books to people. What kinds of stories can people expect on your bus? We specialize in stories from Latinx authors, characters that are Latino, Latina, Latine. My culture is more than mariachis. My stories are more than border crossings. When you're reading that on the page, and you see yourself reflected in those characters and those storylines, it's amazing. In the aftermath of the nationwide racial reckoning in 2020, the American Booksellers Association established a diversity and inclusion committee, acknowledging the organization hadn't done enough to address barriers of entry for membership. Now the organization hopes this momentum will continue. And it doesn't tell the whole story because these stores are still really struggling, like so many small businesses that are very much still in the pandemic. I mean, we're really hopeful that this renaissance of reading isn't just temporary. The organization has seen a 20 percent increase in membership since January 2020. And an additional 217 bookstores are expected to open up in the next year or so. But you says that demand for diverse stories has always been there. I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to share our stories. Now I realize, OK, people want it, too. Seeing the demand for our ourselves and our stories to be front and center um, is really just liberating to to those that want to start a business like that. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.